Madhuri. Madhuri, introduce yourself. I am Madhuri from Jhilkar, but currently staying in Hyderabad. I completed my graduation in Electronics and Communication Engineering from Sri Chaitanya Institute of Technological Sciences. During my graduation, I had a project on brain tumor detection. And apart from my qualification, I am good at Java and C. I can speak English and Telugu. Regarding my friends, I am a self-motivator. I can easily adapt myself to any environment. Coming to my weakness, I always need perfection in my work. So I will take a little bit more time to complete my work. Later I realize. So now I am trying to overcome it. I regularly use it to do exercise and I am interested in reading books. I would like to start my career in a reputed company in which I can enhance my skills and knowledge. And also I want to see myself as a respectable position in that organization. I am from a nuclear family. I have an elder brother. That's all about me. So your technical skills are Java and C language. Yes sir. Give some Java features. Java is simple, object oriented and it provides secure and platform independent and portable, distributed applications, architecture neutral. What is portable? We can carry Java bytecode from one platform to any platform. One machine to other machine is called as portable. portable. What is platform independent? If we write program on one platform, we can run on any platform like Unix, Linux, Windows, Mac, and etc. What is architecture neutral? Architecture neutral. There is a fixed primitive size in any operating system. 64-bit operating system, IT 4-bit. Any operating system, fixed and primitive size is available. So Java runs on uh, equally. I mean, Java performance is same in all, of the, all, all those things. Okay. So what Java is a dynamic language. What is, mean, what is meant by this dynamic loading? During direct runtime, it performs some specific operations. We can dynamically load the classes which are developed in other classes, other programming languages. Suppose we have got to send some classes in C++ or we can Python. Also run on we Java. can use the coding Java in Java also. So that is nothing but dynamic right. coding. What is an array? Array is a collection of similar types of data. And fixed size data. Okay. So how many types of uh, types of arrays are there? Two types. What are they? Static array and dynamic array. Dynamic array. So what is a pre? What is the difference between pre-incremented and the post-incremented? In pre-incremented, the value will be incremented first, and the updated value will be assigned to next. In post-increment, the assigned value is assigned. The value is assigned first, and the value will be incremented next. What is the variable? Variable is a mem mem memory location used to store some data value. What is garbage collection? Garbage collection. Unwanted or wastage. Garbage collection in the sense after executing the program, the e are you able to see the machine code? No. So it, it is unwanted deleted. Though. Yeah. So who is this? The process of deleting these unwanted things after executing the program is called as garbage, garbage collection. So who will perform this garbage collection? JVM will perform this garbage collection. Okay. Okay. So what are class variables and local variables? Class variable is declared inside a class and outside a method. And local variable is declared inside a method. Inside a method. What is super keyword? Super keyword is used to refer immediate parent class object. And it also used to invoke immediate parent class variable, immediate parent class of method, immediate parent class constructor. What is meant by a parent class and child class? Parent class gives the properties to other class and child class acquires the properties from the parent class. Okay. So what is uh, abstraction? In abstraction we represent only essential features and hide the background details. How, what is the advantage of this abstraction? It provides core security. 
How do we achieve this abstraction? We can achieve this abstraction by two ways: abstract and interfaces. But oh. we cannot abstract 100% abstraction because of due to abstract. So we can we can achieve 100% abstraction by interfaces. By using interfaces. So what is an abstract method? Abstract method is used to used to refer methods and variables. What is an abstract method? Abstract method has only method declare method declaration. It does not have method definition. Okay. What is an abstract class? Abstract class contains at least one abstract method. Okay. So can we create an object for abstract classes? No. So then, how do we uh, execute all the methods that are present in the abstract methods? Interfaces. Abstract classes. In the child class, we define the body. So for abstract classes, what we have to do? We have to ext extend, extend it to a child class. Yes. By using extensions. So by using extensions schema. But what about for interfaces? By using implement schema. By using implement, we have to implement it to a other class. Yes. Okay. What is an interface? Interface is similar to class, and it is used for methods and variables. It is used for methods and variables. A variables which are declared inside an interface are by default static and final. The methods which which are declared inside an interface are by default abstract. Abstract. What is a static keyword? Mainly static keyword is used for memory management, and static keyword is used for variables and methods. So can we overload static methods? No. Yes, we can overload static methods. So we can have uh, by declaring a method as static. Still, we can overload the static method because static means what is meant by static? It cannot change. It will bind with the classes, not with the objects. Okay. What is final? Final keyword is used for classes, variables, and methods. If we Declare variables as final. The values cannot be changed. And if we declare classes as final, the classes cannot be inherited. If we declare the methods as final, the methods cannot be overridden. Okay. What are access modifiers? Access, public, private, protected, and default. Explain about private. Private. Access modifiers can access everywhere within the class, outside the class, outside the package, within the package. Okay. So, what what are wrapper classes? So, converting, converting into an object, box, auto boxing, and converting an object into object into, into primitive data, primitive data, primitive data, 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 data auto unboxing. Unboxing. So, suppose I have a string value, string. Well, how do you convert that string into an integer value? String into an integer. We have one method. Array integer. Integer dot in parse int. How do you convert into float? Integer dot parse float. Those methods are there. Okay. What is an exception? An unwanted. Unexpected situation occurs at the runtime. It's called a description. Okay. So how many types of exceptions are there? Two types. What are they? Checked exceptions and unchecked exceptions. Explain them. Checked exceptions occur during compile time and unchecked exceptions are occur during runtime. Examples. For checked exceptions, class not found, input output exception. For unchecked, array index, out of bound exception, and arithmetic exception. So when do we get this array index or index out of bounds exception? If we give an array array size as five, and if you want to pre, if you want to exclude in the size six, the array index out of bounds exception occurs. So why do we need to handle these exceptions? If to return the not not natural resources, and to provide some alternate solution. I need to give some useful information to the user. 
and to continue the normal flow of execution, we need this. We have to handle exceptions. To return the resources normally. Yeah. Okay. Back to its original position, we have to return. Okay. So, how do you handle these exceptions? We can handle these exception by five keywords. Try, catch, finally, throw, throws. What is finally? In finally, that irrespective of try and catch that, finally that will be executed and we will write the code in finally that is to close all the database connections. Okay. So what is the difference between finally and finalize method? What is finalize method? It is a method used for? To set, to Garbage connection. Mm -hmm. Garbage connection. So all the objects that are created, they need to be deleted. So JVM will automatically call this finalize method and it will delete the objects. So it is used for garbage yes. collection. Okay. What is the difference between collection and collections? Difference between collection and collection. Collection is a group of elements which are declared which are declared as a single entity. Collection is a collections is a Class. Connections is a class. Okay. So, what is the difference between array list and vector? Array list is a global array, and vector is a legacy class. And array list is non-synchronizer. Vector is a synchronizer. So, array list is a non-synchronized one. So, how do we make this array list as a synchronized array list? By using a method, synchronized array list. Okay. So, how do you convert hash set as synchronized one? Hash, hash. By using synchronized hash set method. Okay. How do you convert an array into array list? By arrays that arrays that as list. As list method. So it is present in as list. Okay. So how do you convert array list into array? To array method. By using to array method, we can convert. Okay. So what are the differences between array, array list and linked list? In array list, array list is a global array and it implements random access. Linked list, if the elements are connected doubly linked internally and it does not implement random access. And if you want to retrieve the data, we have to use array list. In linked list, to insertion and deletion we use. And insertion and deletion are very costly in array list, very easy in linked list. What is stack? Stack is a child class of vector and it is specially designed for LIFO order means list lost in first row. Okay. What is cloning? Cloning is a concept to give to return the exact copy of given array. So in entire collections, so there are two classes which will not allow heterogeneous data. What are those things? Which will be not allow vector. Heterogeneous data. Will vector allow heterogeneous data or not? Yes. Three set and three map. So they will not allow heterogeneous data into the file. Okay. Write a Java program for frequency of each element in a given array. So write a Java program to print the frequency. Okay.
Okay, Madhuri, your communication is good. The way you explain the answers is also good. But you still have interview fear. So I could clearly see your hands shivering. So still you need to give a lot of mock interviews, practice more things and try to explain in a better way. And you still need to overcome your fear, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.